In 2018, we embarked on the journey of a lifetime, living and traveling full-time in our self-converted van. We're gonna go for it. Join us as we continue to explore the beauty around us, one adventure at a time. For the last 10 days, we have been at Moosehead Lake, our happy place. We have enjoyed paddle boarding. Swimming. Cloud watching. Oh, you got it. Summer showers. Beautiful sunsets. And even mushroom hunting. That's cool. That's been the most I've ever seen in one spot. Everything we love. But Stormtrooper is in need of a mechanic. So we are leaving our happy place and heading south to Merrimack, New Hampshire. But first, we are up bright and early for one last chance at seeing a bull moose. This is Tom's Meadow, if we're in the right spot. But according to locals, this is where you need to be to see the moose. a moose in sight, a deer, and some incredible views. And so, Say goodbye to Maine until we meet again. Little did we know that this leg of our journey would be so eventful. We are in Mexico, Maine. We're on our way to New Hampshire where we're going to get some vehicle maintenance done. And one of the items is two brand new tires because we know two of the tires are really bad. And guess what's leaking? One of the rear tires, it's really bad. We found the problem already? Yep. It's a rock, pretty good sized rock stuck all the way through the tread and it's leaking fast. So that's pretty... Uh... And we're getting, we got new tires in the works for tomorrow. And there's no other Tuesday. Tuesday. There's yeah. no other tire shop around, so I don't know what he's gonna do for me. If nothing else, I can put the spare on it, at least to get us to the tire shop. Or I could buy oh the fix the flat. I can't fix the flat. It's not gonna work. It's not gonna work because the hole's too big. Well, it only needed to last what two. three more days. <laughs> this spare will work. It's just a matter of it's getting a, it off. It's a pain in the butt changing these tires because they're torqued on so tough. But when was the last time you had the spare off? Uh, I lowered it down like a couple months ago and it still, still works. Okay. Yeah. turn the car off because it's hot out there. Yeah, we we have the AC running plus we have the bad tire behind us that's leaking air. We want to give a huge shout out to Robert at VIP Tires. Um, because of this little hiccup 
he made it a very minor little hiccup, a quick minor hiccup. Yeah, and there was no <laughs> other tire repair shop in the area. Now, if you've ever dealt with ProMasters before, changing a tire is a little bit harder than it looks because they are torqued on there so tough. I have to put a four foot cheater bar on a wrench and stomp on it just to break the bolts loose to get the tire off. Yeah, and he had an impact wrench, which just loosened him right the, away. Did the whole thing in five minutes, and then he didn't even charge us. So, yeah, huge Dave, thank you to Robert. Dave tried to uh, offer him a tip, and he refused it. And then we tried the old secret handshake, and he said, no, you guys are living the life. Uh, enjoy the rest of your trip. Yeah. So, huge thank you to Robert at VIP Tires. So that, You made our day fantastic, and I hope the rest of your week is fantastic. Yeah, me too. And we're back on the road. We're so back on the road in 30 minutes or less. Oh, no, we still got to find a campground for tonight and then head to get our tire shop, our tires changed and some maintenance in the yes. next couple of days. Yes. I think it's much needed time, huh? Yep, it's time. We knew the tires were close. That rock in the tire that punctured it, uh, it actually split the tire. It was almost an inch long tear. So there, I couldn't have even uh, plugged it if I wanted to. Yeah, he said there's no repair in the tire. Nope. All right. Okay, I'm glad we have a spare and we're on the road. Back on it. Back on the road again. And I'm glad the tire sensor worked. Yeah, we, we I haven't seen that go off in years. So <laughs> it does still work. It does work. Oh, yay. All right, you ready? I'm ready. With no plans on where to stay tonight, we are discussing our options, checking the weather, and placing our bets on when it's going to rain. Good, right? Yeah. We're good. <laughs> We're in the same direction as the storm. <laughs> yeah, it, I think it's going to be a rain. Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, you said it was going to start raining in five minutes, and it only started raining in four minutes. <laughs> Within five minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Do it. Well, everybody knows we're coming because we're squeaking. Yeah. The first campsite that we were planning on staying at, it looks like only one person stays per site and their big sites is taken. So we're just going to keep going up the road and hopefully find another one before the rain starts because it looks like it's going to start pouring. <laughs> if not, we're just going to stay right here next to the side of the road. Yeah. Let's go take a look. Pretty little creek down there. Really loud outside. Which side it's coming from, what would you say? I think it's your side. Oh, yeah. It's my side. Today we are in New Hampshire, and this is the White Mountains National Forest at Jefferson Notch. So on the way up, there was several camp spots, maybe seven or eight. Every single one of them was full. So we are thinking about camping here for tonight. This is just a little pull off, not too far away from a trailhead parking lot, even though this is not a trailhead parking lot right here. There's no signs that say that we cannot camp here overnight. I think it's far enough out of the way that it should be a nice quiet place to spend one night. This is not the kind of spot that is ideal for staying any longer than that, but we need to get back on the road. And we also noticed that we have another problem with the van. The front driver's side tire right here, the wheel, is making a squeak sound and it feels a lot warmer than all the other wheels. I think it might be a caliper that's sticking and it got hot going uphill. So we weren't even on the brakes. So we'll have something else that we'll have to get checked out. It seems like it's always something. Just gotta try to stay on top as many of the problems as you can and not let too many build up. 
I slept really good. I think I had a full eight to 10 hours. Yeah, that was more sleep than you've gotten in a long time. But um, the night before we were out moose hunting, so I didn't get much sleep. Looking for moose. Yeah, we yeah, were we were, we were hunting for <laughs> to shoot with a camera. <laughs> <laughs> Last night it got cold. They got a hat and a coat on, and yeah. I haven't had that on for over a month. But anyway, today we're hitting the road again. Um, the front uh, driver's side tire is making all kinds of strange sounds. It's, so I don't know if something with the calipers going on. And it was really hot. And it, yeah, and it got really hot compared going to, uphill. Quite compared to the other tires. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and maybe look for a tool, an impact wrench, and pull that tire off myself just to get a look at it, see if it's a caliper or, or what's going on before we go to another brake shop or tire again. shop. Again. Are so. you guys tired of hearing about our brake problems? Because we're tired of having <laughs> brake problems. Yeah, it's been nonstop. Since that first time we got them changed, we've had, but this has been, what, seven months since we've had? Yeah, yeah. Although it's, it was. Something's going on though. It's not good. It's, it's making a terrible sound. And we thought when we got all the brakes done we got new rotors and new pads and new all that that we should have just did the calibers at that time yeah but you know why spend the extra money when they say you don't need it but here we are yep um we'll find out what it is because i could be wrong it could be something else but hopefully it's just a rock stuck or something yeah it sounds like something's <laughs> grinding scraping against the rotor which would be damaging that so that's not good either way it's probably not good but let's go check it out yeah, I'll at least get to a spot where there's some reception where we can do some research. Yeah, we really don't need to be off road because we don't have a spare tire right now. So it's probably not a good idea to be on these back roads. True. All right, let's go. My theory, I'm going on the record. I think it's caliber. Caliper? Caliper. P or B? C. Well, P. <laughs> because we're driving and it's been sitting overnight so it's cool and there's no squeaks or nothing. But we're going downhill. The brakes are gonna get their workout. Let's see if it starts squeaking by the time we get to the bottom. What do you think, Dave? Yeah, that makes sense. It's gotta be heating up and then causing a problem. Mm. And they did mess with the, I think they had to take the caliper off or when they did the road or the, uh, the bearing. Yeah. Oh. So they were messing with that area. When we had the bearing done in Newfoundland. That would make sense because that's when we first heard a yeah. squeak, but it was occasional. Yeah. If you are traveling along I-93 between Lincoln and Concord, New Hampshire, do me a favor and stop at Franconia Notch State Park and hike the Plume Gorge. It's killing me that we don't have time to stop and explore this beautiful stretch of New Hampshire. I'm adding it down my list for next time. We arrived at Cracker Barrel, and I think this is where we're gonna stay the night so we can get the work done on the vehicle. It's only about 30 miles away. And I think I found our next tiny home. If money was no option, this thing is awesome. This FedEx truck with the giant sleeper, air conditioned. What a cool rig. I'd love to convert this thing. What do you think? That make a cool tiny home? Yeah, that's pretty cool. You got your living space and then you got your bedroom. Yeah. Yep.
Tomorrow we have a very, very early morning appointment with the mechanic. They are going to be replacing our front struts and ball bearings. But in order to do that, they have to access the struts by taking the dash apart inside, something like that. So my job today is I have to get everything out of all the little cubbies and get it all ready so nothing is in their way when they're in here working. And that seems like a simple job except for when you live in your house, you require lots of little things in all the nooks and crannies. How you doing, buddy? You got a treat? You got a treat? Yeah. Looks like a new car. Getting better, yeah. It hasn't been done for a long time and we've been on one gravel road after another, so we were due. He already got the bolt off, or is it in there? A little bit of dust in there. <laughs> yeah, I bet. Oh, uh, cool. Yeah, he's done a few, he's, he's done. He's, like, he's got it, he's, he's, he's like, got it? Yeah. yeah. Thanks for letting me just no show problem. that. Yeah. Yeah. We've had to do very minimal maintenance on Stormtrooper in the last five years. Yeah, some of it we've actually put off a little bit, like the struts and springs. Yeah. And just because we didn't have money at the time, but there's just, they're starting to, the maintenance is starting to add up, so we needed to get a chunk of it done. So we're at the five year mark, and we knew this was going to happen. We knew that it was going to start stacking up, and that's exactly what happened. And so we're doing, like the struts, we're just doing normal maintenance. Yeah, this is normal wear and tear. Now there's normal wear and tear on the inside that we're going to have to be doing as well. But just to give you an idea of what we got done today, we got two new front struts. Yeah, and springs. And springs, which Dave really wanted to do himself, and I really didn't want him to do them. <laughs> and it's a good thing that he didn't do them. Why? Yeah, because the uh, driver's side axle was stripped out. So you can see the I threads went. where it just took the steel, oh, it just took the threads right, right off with the, with the knot. Yeah. Dang. Yeah. Yeah. The other side came off fine. So I would have had, we would have ended up getting towed. So we have a new CV axle on the left side. We have new uh, ball joints. We have two new Falcon tires. Um, we have brand new transmission filter and fluid. And pan, because Carrie put a really good dent in it in Maine. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. I wonder what you hit. Turns out I hit a rock, putting a good size dent in our transmission pan. Yeah, and I didn't even think to ask which pan. I, we just ordered, you know, have a new pan put on. And the one that they got has a drain plug on it. That's awesome. <laughs> so I'm real happy about that. Okay, and then driving here, we started having problems with the brake. So we have a brand new brake caliper on the left side. I'm going on the record. I think it's caliber. Caliper? Caliper. caliper. Yeah. I'm, I can't wait to get on the road just to, because our struts have been overdue for replacement for year, two, three 80, years. 80,000 miles, the last 80,000 miles at least, maybe, maybe longer than that. The ride is pretty jarring. Now we put the sumo spacers in, are they called spacers? Yeah, yeah, and that helped. And that really helped. I think that bought us a year, but um, it was, it was time for the struts. So I'm really anxious to get on the road with new tires and new struts. I'm really nervous. I'm really hoping the ride is totally different because I'm going to be disappointed if it's not. Yeah, we need to hit some potholes head on. <laughs> no, let's not hit any potholes. Okay, so we are at Merrimack Auto Center. This came highly rated to us. They were super, super helpful on the phone. They knew exactly what they were talking about. 
um, I told them how heavy our van was and that usually puts most people off. So these guys work on ProMasters all the time because they have an account with Amazon. So uh -huh. that was good to know that they're familiar with the rig already. Yes. Now we, we added a bunch of stuff in. We told them we live in our van. They said, we'll do our best to get you in the same day. And then we got here and added more on. I and thought for sure this was going to be two full days. I thought we'd be staying in a motel tonight. Yeah. They got us in and out of this shop in seven hours. Yeah, I, totally unexpected. I, they had th they put three guys on it at one time. So I've never seen that in any shop before. It was It's awesome. I just yeah. can't wait to see it. Super thankful. Yep. All right. So for the grand total, we're going to just be transparent with you on this. All these things cost us $3,555, yeah. which is a big ouch, but. Considering that's probably two years worth of maintenance. Yeah. And with that being said, uh, thank you to our subscribers who pay for all of our gas money. Thank you to our patrons who keep us on the road, who make up for what YouTube doesn't pay. Yeah, thank you. Thank you very much because this would not be possible with you, without you guys and I know we said we were done, but we're going back to the beet harvest. Yes, we are because we <laughs> got to replace this fun. <laughs> and we want to do fun things next year. too. Yes. <laughs> All right. So we're back on the road again. I'm really optimistic that this is going to be an awesome ride. Yep. All right. We're ready. Let's go see how Stormtrooper rides. We need some big bumps. Oh, it steers better. It does? Yeah. Oh, the steer how can the steering be better? <laughs> because you had no support in the front. Oh my gosh, it feels like a new car. We've been on the road for an hour. Yeah. Night and day difference. Absolutely. What do you think? Yeah. The steering's better, which I noticed right away, and I didn't think that had any impact uh, just from the struts alone, but we've it, had bad struts for so long. Yeah, it used to be that we saw a bump or a pothole coming and we braced for it. kind of brace and cringe because <laughs> it feels like your teeth are going to fall out because there was no strut action yeah. whatsoever. Super nerve-wracking having somebody else work on your home because... We're driving away. We're listening to all the sounds. Is that normal? Is that a new yeah, sound? Yeah. Did they put all the bolts back in? Did they leave any tools inside? Yeah, so. we, we checked everything. So. <laughs> We're super happy. We're going to monitor, monitor it for a few days. Um, but right now, it is a day and night difference, which I'm happy about. Yeah, and we took a big chunk of our maintenance out. There's still a few small things that we have to do, but it feels good having that done. Yes. Well, if we don't pick up any ticks doing this, there's none out here. It is pouring. I hope my drone case is waterproof like it says it is. If you would like to support our channel, please consider becoming a patron. Thank you for watching.